everyone, it's Diane here from Deco Easy. Jenny and I are super happy that you stopped by to watch our channel. If you want to see our next decor video, our daily decor video, then keep on watching. For today's DIY, we're going to use this old pair of jeans. Well, it is worn and uh, yeah, here the fabric became very thin, so I'm not going to wear this anymore. Well, what will happen if I accidentally um, rip my jeans completely outside on the street. Um, so it's better for me to not wear this anymore, but we're going to create a really cool item out of it. Therefore, you just need an old pair of jeans, uh, and I'm going to start off by cutting it with the scissors. What we need here is this pocket. Um, so this feels really weird to cut out my old jeans. My jeans, they were my favorite. Um, but they're worn, so there we go. Oh gosh, <laughs> my mother always told me not to cut into my clothes. Now I'm just doing it, actually. What I want to do... Ooh, the fabric's very thin here. <laughs> I'm going to cut out this pocket here. There's my pockets. This is the inside. Um, well, the outside isn't cut very perfect, so I'm going to redo it. But now I'm going to cut here around uh, where it's stitched. So be careful while doing that. Use a good pair of scissors. This one, whoops, I'm using comes from action. have a perfect cut out pocket here's the back side this is the front side oh, well, there's a little bit of stretchy jeans here um, but here we're going to work further with and now I'm going to my storage room to find myself a part of a canvas I have a pair a package of three canvases it's 25 by 25 centimeters so let's see how we can use this for our DIY today there it is just one single piece of canvas this is a cardboard one, um, so it doesn't have a frame or anything, but that isn't a big deal because I'm going to put this self-adhesive decorative wooden foil upon it. Uh, it comes from Action 2 and it cost me, I think, about 2 euros. It is quite a big one. Um, it's 2.5 meters and this stuff is really great to work with. Jen and I also bought another pattern. And that was for yeah, a couple of seasons ago, and I still didn't know that they still had it inside of the store. So, what I'm going to do, this stuff is, uh, you can see it here, oh, at the back, I hope. Here, there are measurements upon it, but I'm just going to uh, open this one up and lay the canvas on top of the foil. This is what the foil looks like. It's look just like you have a big wooden print. Um, it is plastic and this is the back side. I'm carefully going to turn it over like this. But I'm just going to put this one around here to see if I going to put it down like this. How much do I need? Well let's say spare myself a little bit of room here or space actually. And I think this will do. So I'm carefully going to cut out alongside this line here, and most important, here. Well, let's make it a little bit longer and cut my way through. Now, carefully, I'm going to remove the protective layer on the back. Now be careful because this thing is pretty static, the wood print. I only pressed it here. Now I'm now going to press it here in the center. And white like this to get rid of air bubbles 
Now this is our front side. And in my opinion, this looks pretty high-end, to be honest. But it costed only, I think, well, recalculated the canvas was, I think, about 50 euro cents and this whole layer of foil would be 10 or something. So for 60 euro cents, you got yourself a really high-end looking board. My idea now is to get my jeans pocket and glue it here. And therefore, I'm going to, I think, use the glue gun um, because, yeah, if you want to hang it up like so, normally not Mod Podge wouldn't be enough, especially not because of this smooth surface, which is really hard to get something sticky upon. Um, so I'm going to warm up my glue gun and then I will be back with you so you can see how it is glued and then we're going to decorate it. Are you ready to see the result? Here it is, looks super cute, but we're not there yet because it's a pocket, there needs to be something inside of the pocket. So I went to my storage room and I found out that I still had new greenery to use for the spring season. For example, here these beautiful um, blue, I would say blue, yellow flowers. They were on sale for one euro 25 here. I hope you can see the price tag, it is still upon it. Um, and yeah, actually this one comes from a garden center. All this stuff is pretty easy to remove. Just part of like so. Um, oh, that is an idea actually. You can just pull it off if you need greenery or anything. And uh, it was on a clearance sale, so from the one euro 25, we still had 40% discount. So it was even cheaper than it's upon a price tag now. But there are beautiful flowers upon here that I can use um, if it wants to let go of only the small parts. Well, then I have to cut it off. That won't be a problem as well. Just going to cut off small parts of the greenery. And then I'm going to chuck it in like so. I thought it would be a nice idea. Just something like this. For example. Of course, you can manage to do it how you want to have it by yourself. It's just inspiration. And we also have one of my favorite flowers here, hydrangeas. Well, I have them in red, but I also have them in pink. So yeah, it's just what you prefer matching with the colors that you want to use. I also have them in many other colors. They come from AliExpress. Um, to be honest, I think I'm going to use both today because I feel both as red as pink. So carefully, you can grab myself a pair of scissors and then cut it off and arrange it into the DIY. I have some loose flower petals that I can tuck in or just pull them apart. That is totally up to you how you want to arrange your DOI. Look how cute this looks. And to finish off this DOI, I would like to use these wooden letters. Recently bought at Action. I also have them in black and they're really easy. They're made from wood and I can just go use my glue gun and uh, put them upon the pocket of the jeans. And here it is done and well. Look how cute all these flowers match together. And I really like the simple idea of reusing old clothes and make it into something really simple. It was quite, pretty cheap as well. And I think it looks beautiful upon the wall, but you can also use it as a plaque or as a sign somewhere in your kitchen. I really don't know, but I hope you like this inspiration. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Jenny, I'm really happy that you stopped by here on our Decor Easy channel. If you want to stay tuned to what we make, then hit the subscribe and also the bell button so you get a notification when we upload something new. Thank you so much for watching and we wish you a nice day. Bye everyone! <laughs>